with the hiccups. Hey, welcome back to my channel, or welcome to my channel if you're new. My name is Chloe, and I am in love with Outpro's Soya Chocolate Milk, or chocolate drink, whatever. It's just the best thing in the world. Even when I used to drink milk, and like I would have like a chocolate shake, it's just, it's nowhere near as good. Like, just try Outpro's Chocolate Soya Drink. It's just top notch. It's so good. Anyway, so today I am going to be doing my second pit box unboxing. I received this today so I am going to be unboxing it for you this time I got the vegan version you can get cruelty free or cruelty free and vegan I recently probably two or three weeks ago now went vegan so I thought I might as well start getting vegan makeup same as last time it's just this little box it's got all like that it looks exactly the same as the last one I hate opening shit like this so we have the little bit of paper which I'm not gonna look at straight away because I'd rather just dive in and look at the stuff so it looks the same as before again, it's like it's got this really nice little wrap up thing. Something in here smells good as well. Oh, it smells like rose, maybe like, I don't know. But I'm getting like a hint of Turkish delight, so it must be rose. But yeah, it's got the little get your free, uh, next box free kind of thing, which I didn't do last time, I do need to do again next time. So I'm going to open this. Oh, and I've ripped it. Ooh, okay. Oh, wow. So do you remember last week when I had a little thing in the box and it was a sneak peek of what was going to be in the next box well it was this it was this dry shampoo it's organic cruelty free vegan friendly it's quite big like when i saw the picture you can see a picture of it here but it was on its own it looked like it was going to be about this big i'm not joking i looked at it and thought that looks quite small but there's like you know this is quite big and it feels like there's quite a lot in there like you know sometimes you get things like products and they're this big and you open it and it's up to there and you're like what are you doing why are you doing that but it, like i'd say by feel it feels like it's probably about here let's have a little read of this thing right okay so basically it's it's the same as most dry shampoos but it's not it's not a spray because that's the only way i've ever known dry shampoos is in the spray like you know batiste or however you call it which is not cruelty free and they tried to be cruelty free or tried to pretend to be cruelty free by putting a little bunny logo on their products and then they obviously got found out so they had to take it off and I just think that's so shady I think even if they do go cruelty free they're just no just not on my list that's just so shady it's so bad and I just I'm not into it but it's basically just like a normal powder you know you pop it in your hair and then you rub it in and, and blah 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 and it's from a brand called I think Kite Nest Kite nest. The, the, the K looks a bit funny, so I just didn't know whether. So the organic, it's organic, dry shampoo. It says it's beautiful, full-bodied, zesty hair is no longer just a shower away with Kite Nest 100% natural and organic shampoo. Gives me 20% off and gives me the website, which is kitenest.co.uk if you want to check it out. But I don't know what else they do. Obviously, this is the first time I'm opening and looking at them. But I'm going to try it out because my hair is actually a bit greasy at the moment. How do I use this? Another thing about this is you can obviously tell like it's made what looks like a toilet roll holder but it says where is it this is packaged in a fully recyclable cardboard tube which is sourced from the responsibly maintained forests in northern europe please recycle when empty so love that that's great and it also has like a little ingredient list at the bottom so i'll read that out i'm just gonna screw this let's just you can read you can pause the video and you can read it if you want to read it because i just cannot read that out it's got like a little thing here that I clearly have to like push in somehow okay so I've got it open so you've got two little holes you've got one that's like a, an actual hole and then you've got little dots which is probably the one I'm going to use just because I don't want too much and I'm just gonna put it in my roots here Blah. that does smell nice it smells exactly how it says it's got it's got like a, a nice zesty kind of citrusy smell to it it's real nice I like it I like it. So I'm just gonna, that comes out so light, so I am gonna use the other side. Okay, so I've got a little bit in my hand there. And what I usually do with stuff like this is I'll like put it in my hands and try and like equal it out. And then I'm gonna flip my hair forward so you might not see this. Like this, and then just work it into my hair. Oh my God, the smell is so strong now, wow. So it says on the thing, and I think it says this on most dry shampoos, I think it says on the thing. You're supposed to massage it in and leave it for 30 seconds to allow the shampoo to absorb excess moisture and then you're supposed to brush it through. But I'm not going to do that because I don't think anyone does that with 
powders normally like this. I mean, my hair looks pretty clean from how it did before. I'm just looking in the viewfinder so I don't bloody know. But if I show you like a bit at the back where it is definitely greasy, like here, and then if I s smooth that back, you can see that looks clean. It smells so good. Like when I was putting it into my hair, it was like the scent just kind of like escaped from it or something. I don't know, but it was just, it just became so strong in a good way and I could just, it, it was it was so nice it was a really nice smell so I do like that and I, I just I love everything about it I love that it's it's cruelty free and it's vegan and also it's like you know sustainable so the next item which is a natural body wash really nice size again oh and it's airplane safe travel size which is great because I'm going away soon and it was also on the beauty shortlist awards in 2017 let's read the little thing here it says so this is from a company called green frog botanic and it's a natural body wash. I've got it in relaxing geranium and peppermint. It's enriched with revitalizing organic aloe vera, which is great and it will be really nice on holiday as well if I get a bit burnt. It says, condition your skin with the magical qualities of certified organic soap berries. This soap from nature is grown in the Himalayan mountains and is extremely gentle and respects the pH of your skin. So it just says the same stuff on the front and then on the back it just says oh okay it says so on the back it kind of says the same stuff except for after respecting the pH of your skin it says it's used in Ayurvedic medicine to treat dry skin and conditions such as eczema also with generous high quality organic aloe vera to cleanse and moisturize for perfect skin conditioning and then it says directions for use which is obviously quite self-explanatory it's body wash and then the ingredients, which again, I'm just going to let you see because I'm probably not going to be, be able to read most of them. So let's have a smell. Oh, oh, nice. It does smell a bit minty and I know I've said before that I don't like mint. I usually, I'm usually like, you know, I can let off a spearmint. I like spearmint, like chewing gum and stuff like that. I just, I don't know. But this is peppermint and it's actually, it's, it's, it's all right. I think it's probably the geranium that's like making it not too strong. It's like lavender. I, I hate the smell of lavender, but when it's lavender and something, sometimes it's okay because two things combined kind of make a new smell oh, I, I like this and I think it's gonna be nice on holiday it'll be like refreshing the aloe vera for if I burn obviously it's travel size which is quite nice it's vegan and cruelty free and also the mint will hopefully be quite refreshing in the mornings you know to wake me up for get ready for the day so yes I'll try this I'll let you know what I think we'll get on to the next thing so I've got this little thing in a wrapper. So we'll open this one and see what's in here. So this is a cute little eyeshadow. This is from a brand called, I'm gonna butcher this, Benicos? 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 I don't know, but it's a natural eyeshadow, which is real nice. It's vegan, obviously, and quite free. Okay, so this is in Apricot Glow, which is obviously a beautiful colour. It does look really nice, if I'm honest. I'll do a little swatch in a minute, but even the little imprint is beautiful look at that so it says create a natural glowing look with Benacos eyeshadow apricot glow the light reflecting pigments in the eyeshadow give it a light peach colored shimmer to show off your eyes and give you a natural look I'm gonna do a little swatch which ugh, I hate what like obviously it's really nice when brands do these little imprints and it's beautiful but I hate it because I don't want to ruin it I look at it and I'm like it's so pretty I don't want to ruin it but I'll do a swatch anyway so I'm just gonna do this a few times I don't know if you can see that so I swallowed my finger about three times. That's quite pigmented. Wow. And then that's it on the back of my hand, which you can't see as much. I think it's kind of sheared out a bit. I can see it, but on the camera, not so much. I think this might even be like a really nice highlighter. Obviously I'm quite pale, so I could probably pull this off as a highlighter. And I like it. It's my first bit of makeup I've gotten in the pit box, which I'm excited about. Okay. And then the next thing we've got is some um, Citrus Refreshing Body Oil. And this is from a brand called Walida. Walida? I don't know. Just butchering all these names. I'm so sorry. And this is the item in the box where 50p from it goes to a donated animal free research. So this is the Travel Citrus Body Oil. And it says, mmm, 
Lemon. The fresh scent of sunshine and summer captured in a purely natural oil for body care. Citrus refreshing body oil takes a base of delicate almond oil to maintain skin's moisture and infuses it with a squeeze of pure lemon oil to invigorate, lift your spirits and clear your head. Right from the shower, straight onto your skin and let's get on with the day. It's 10 milliliters. I know you're allowed 100 milliliters when you go on holiday, so this is obviously very, very good for it. Citrus refreshing body oil invigorates and enlivens the skin while helping to prevent moisture loss. Obviously be great on holiday. Ingredients, which I'll let you read if you wanna. You can pause it and read it. Okay, so it has a little bit of paper, which makes me feel like I'm getting some prescribed tablets or something, I don't know. And it literally just says, by the looks of it, the same thing in a whole bunch of languages. So, oh my God! You made it sound like I did it. My RCMA powder's on the floor and lots of powders on the floor and I don't know how. Doesn't this take a pound? No, it was 12. Fucking hell. Fucking hell. Hey, Steven! I don't really know, do I use this all over my body? Because I'm not really an oil person. Like, I'm not really a person to put oil all over my body. I just, I don't know. I'm, I'm, I'm a bit funny about oil, to be honest. It's just always so greasy. That's nice, though. I'll probably not try this on holiday, though, just because I feel like putting oil on your skin on holiday is just a recipe for disaster. I'm not a bit of bacon, so... Okay, and then the last thing, which I'm quite excited about, is a space mask. I don't know what the hell this means at the moment, so I'm gonna read my little... I'm gonna read my little bit of paper. Apparently it's as seen in Harvey Nichols. I don't know what that is. I don't know what that means. But it's... It's from a brand called spacemasks.com and this is a self-heating eye mask. This isn't a face mask, it's an eye mask. These perfectly formed pouches contain a heavenly space mask capable of whisking you away to a carefree world unpoll unpolluted by earthly distractions. And then it says treat yourself to a pamper night and relax. And then it's got some information on the back. This little pouch contains a self-heating eye mask which will transport you to another dimension! You read it so much better than I do. Of course, so you've got pizzazz and style. <laughs> and you're a little toad girl. Keep reading it for them. Relieving tiredness, eye strain, and many other earthly tensions. The warm comes a lot. Warmth comes alive as soon as you open it. So make sure you're fully reclined and ready for liftoff. It says here it's made out of uh, small boy's foreskins. <laughs> so yeah, I think I'm going to get a lot of use out of the dry shampoo and probably even repurchase it in the future and the natural body wash as well i think i'll probably use quite a lot so that's all the products in this month's pit box which is the august pit box this was the cruelty free and vegan version so everything i've showed you was cruelty free and vegan if you want to check out any of the brands then they will all be in the box down below thank you for watching like subscribe share and all that jazz and i hope you guys have a great week and i will see you next time bye